really uh, proud of our team. That was a that was a that was a fun day. Uh, tremendous uh, focus and leadership from our guys. That's the first thing I would say. Uh, these guys just they really amaze me. Uh, this, for young people to have the type of focus and and continued intensity at this point in the season. Um, you know, you're going into a game like this, and a team is you know two and six coming in, and, and to see our guys prepare like we were getting ready to play for the Super Bowl. I mean, it's just it's just an awesome mindset that our team has, and so I'm just really proud of them. Uh, first and foremost, so I want to thank the leadership of, 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 that we have in place. These guys are are just incredible, but uh, <clears throat> definitely a good start to November uh, in this phase of our season. Uh, they continue to do things that have never been done or things that hadn't been done in a long, long time. Uh, offensively, it was good to see us set the tempo for the day. And, uh, you know, we, we, we scored the first three possessions in a row. Uh, and so that was awesome to see us. I, I thought defensively we weren't as sharp on third down in the first half, but we really came back and, and really shut them down in the second half and then uh, could kind of continue things off. I think we, we scored every single possession offensively uh, in the second half, with the exception of the last one, where, where we just let the clock run out. Uh, I, I don't know that I've ever been a part of that, to be honest with you. Um, so just really uh, proud of our guys. Uh, uh, got a little helter-skelter there for a minute when we, were, we, we played 94 people and kind of got a little wacky. Uh, had a lot of guys out there, gave up the kick return. Uh, that was disappointing, but just overall, a lot of good things. Offensively, we, didn't, we, we had no sacks, back-to-back -back games, first time, I think, since 2012. Uh, guys taking a lot of pride in that. 660-something uh, yards of offense, uh, three backs over 100 yards. <clears throat> I think we averaged 13.3 uh, a carry, which is a record. Uh, we had 11.6 uh, per play, which breaks a record from 1903. And uh, and I think uh, I think the other thing was the points scored in a four-game span broke the record from 1900. I think John Heisman was coaching here, so some guy named John Heisman. Uh, they must have been carving some people up in 1900. Uh, <laughs> golly, man, they scored a lot of points. Uh, so pretty cool to see them uh, achieve some of those great things. Uh, again, 492 yards rushing. Uh, but I think one of the neatest things that statistics is 10 different guys scored touchdowns uh, if you count the pick six. Uh, that's, pretty, that's pretty amazing uh, to, to be a part of something like that and, and had fun doing it. Uh, defensively, we had a season high six sacks. Uh, so really proud of that. The pick six, that's our 17th game in a row that we've had to take away. Uh, so really, uh, those guys continue to, to, to hawk the ball. Uh, we're causing fumbles. Uh, but um, we had a, we had a couple of I think we ended up with three takeaways. I, one of them was the offensive you know, Cannon Smith getting one back for the offense, but uh, finished plus in the margin again. So that's four games in a row we've been even or better, and that's a good trend. That that's a that's that puts us in a good spot uh, when we can do that uh, because we you know two things that are critical are big plays and turnover margin, and the one consistency for us has been. Uh, our big plays. I think we only had we had 57 plays today, so just really explosive. Had a lot of short drives. I mean, it was kind of a weird first half. We only had at one point we had like 16 plays, but we had a bunch of points. Uh, so uh, really, really just proud of our guys for staying focused. And, and again, defensively, the turnovers. Uh, good to see Tanner break on that ball. I thought that was a great pick. Good to see Isaiah get rewarded um, uh, for his and to finish the play. Because uh, we dropped some this year. So to see us finish a couple of them that we got our hands on was, was really good to see. Uh, but end of the day, you know, listen, we got it done, what we want to do, win the game. We're 9-0. Uh, but, man, what a big challenge we got next week. So we'll be excited. We'll enjoy this one. Uh, we're going to get to enjoy this one a little longer because we get to set the clocks back. Uh, so I get excited about that tonight. And uh, that will give us a little more time before we do have to turn the page and, and, and get ready for a, a big challenge in BC uh, next week. So proud of our team, uh, the focus of our team. It was fun to see Dexter score. Uh, we tried to get one with Mitch. So uh, he, he, got it, he got his first reception. Uh, but, uh, and we also uh, honored him after the game. 
You know, you've been playing football here for a hundred and something years, and mm -hmm. and uh, I wanted to call timeout and like you know sub him out and do something kind of cool, but we were in the middle of a two minute drive, and uh, so it didn't really work out that way. That's kind of the life of a lineman, though. And but hundred something years of football, and uh, he uh, he has played the he has played more snaps than any player in the history of, uh, of Clemson football. And for a left tackle to be able to do that, uh, that's, that's pretty awesome. And I think, he, I think it was Dalton Freeman's record that he broke, who was pretty doggone good too. So two good guys, and it was great in the locker room. We had a great moment, and, and everybody wanted a speech from Mitch. And so in classic Mitch fashion, he just said, thanks, y'all. Uh, <laughs> that's all he had. Uh, so really just proud of him. It was a really cool uh, moment. And uh, we'll move on to the next one. Dad, well, you told us at the beginning of the year the running back group was going to be a special group this year. You saw a lot of depth develop in there. Yeah. Two games out of the last four, they've rushed for 300. Three guys at, at 100 yards plus. And Travis eclipsed 1,000 yards, I think, this yeah. up today. Can you speak a little more about that for us? Yeah, that's kind of what I saw coming. Uh, I, I didn't know what we had in Lin J uh, at, at that time. But man, uh, it don't take him long to get to 100, does it? Uh, I think he only had like four carries. but. He's electric. Uh, he goes in there with those fresh legs, and he is going. He's going to be a special player for sure. But they just, they just have fun. I thought Adam Choice. You saw the heart and soul of Adam Choice. I mean, that's just the epitome of who that guy is. That play was amazing, and uh, <laughs> we, he just, he, he was literally trying to score and, and carrying people in. But I, I'm really proud of Adam. Uh, great to see Feaster, you know, kind of get on track today and get over 100 yards too. And um, uh, I thought, obviously, I think, I, was that the second score that we had? You know, one play score. Um, but all those guys are great, man. They just, they're a veteran group. They're, they're, they, they support each other. Just so much more experience this year than we had last year. Uh, Travis is, has been awesome. And this time last year, you know, he's, he's still trying to figure it all out and developing his body and all that. And then you throw in there, you throw NJ in there. Uh, we've got the type of depth that you need to have to have a championship caliber, you know, team. And um, so really proud of them and, and give the credit to the offensive line and our tight ends too. Those guys, they did a great job. That was, that was a big objective today was to be able to run the football. We felt like they would play a little more two safety type stuff on us. Um, and uh, so an opportunity to, to cover people up and not have so many unblocked guys and things like that to where we could get our backs to the second level. And um, and that's and that's what happened, and they made, they did a great job. So good to see. I think Et had over 150, uh, and uh, I don't, it didn't have many carries, but it didn't play much in the second half. So just a great a great day, you know, for those guys. Coach, how special was it to have Gene Stallings here today, and he got to see his grandson J.C. Chalk make a catch for a first down? Yeah, uh, Coach Stallings came actually Wednesday night, so I've been with Coach Thursday, Friday, and today, and. Uh, he has coached me up well for three days. Uh, we, we've had a lot of fun. He actually sat in our staff meeting uh, Thursday morning and spoke to the team Thursday afternoon and got a chance to see practice Thursday and came out to practice yesterday. And the crazy thing about it, and it's just you know kind of crazy how good Lord works, but um, we had uh, this was this was a game that I had a lot of former teammates that just so happened to be coming. And obviously, I got some guys on my staff that, that uh, connected to Coach, too. So we had a really cool moment before the game. I think it was about 17 or 18 of us. And then even the secondary, co the safety coach from Louisville, Lorenzo Ward, who was a teammate of mine, uh, who used to be at South Carolina. He, he's, he's at Louisville now. He came over and uh, got in the picture. So that was a really neat moment. You know, Coach is 83, 84. And, uh, you don't know how many opportunities you're going to get to get him here for a game and things like that. So it was a special day. I'm glad JC got in there and got a chance to get a, get a catch too. But um, it was a fun day, and I know he was smiling when we jumped in the I formation up there on the goal line and handed to that big number 90. Uh, no doubt about it. Dad, what's the story behind adding um, Patrick McClure to the team, and how good of a job has he done as a scout team quarterback? Uh, well, I just needed another arm, and uh, he was a, a kid. Uh, I think he went to Ben Lippin, I believe, his high school, and uh, his coach had reached out to us and talked a lot about him. And I think he had gone to uh, maybe Jacksonville uh, out of high school down, like in Florida, that Jacksonville, and uh, had ended up just transferring here. Was in school, and so we needed another arm. 
obviously we were kind of lean on quarterbacks. Um, so we brought him out. What a great kid and kind of neat to see him be able to get in there. He does a good job over on the scout team. And Coach V loves him. So, it, it, you know, he don't, he's not real easy on those scout team quarterbacks. So, but he, love, but he likes this guy. So he's, he just does a great job for us uh, running our scout team. And I know that was a special moment for him to be able to get in the game. We, we didn't put Ben in because we wanted to save, kind of save the, he's only got two more games. And uh, so we, and it was an opportunity to get DK in there and kind of do some stuff with him. And he's pretty natural, as y'all saw. He just, good things happen when he touches the ball. So an opportunity for him to go in there and just kind of, you know, manage the cadence, do some base stuff, not wildcat stuff, but just a little bit of base stuff, zone lead. And, and he did a good job with that, made a few plays, a little bit of quarterback run mixed in. Um, but good to get McClure in there as well. Yeah, but they put up 